And so I auditioned for all the main drama schools. And because I was a year ahead in school, I sort of auditioned when I was 17. And sort of on principle, despite the auditions going well, they went, yes, but you're only 17. And, you know, we really don't like to take people that young because you haven't had a life, you know, was, was the response I got back. Not that they said it to my face then, they weren't honest enough to say that. They just sort of, they just said, thank you. And then I got this letter back from all of them saying the same thing. We love you very much. Come back in a couple of years, in a few years time, um, when you've experienced some life. I was like, oh. you know, even the waiting of a year just seemed so long how could I possibly do that um so I went back three months later with a different look and another name (laughs) (laughs) at a different age as well I um I had I had aged three months I think so my birthday had moved so I think I I think I tweaked it I think the whole you know most of the form was a bit of a a dodgy, um, a dodgy <laughs> form. And uh, so I went back. None of them seemed to recognise me from before. And so this would have been not for the September intake, the beginning of the year, but for the, the following year's intake, not the following September, but the following February or April, whichever ones they did, because a lot of the schools did two intakes a year. And I went back and I'd sort of got a feel for each of the schools. So I did very different auditions for each one. So for Central, I tied my hair in lots of little plaits the night before. Or loads of dark black eye makeup, really big, you know, coal eyeliner and frizzed my hair out to here. Like I had some mad perm. And and I wore slashed jeans. And I talked like that. I went into the audition and that was my voice. And so then when I did my Shakespeare, they thought, blimey, what a good voice she's got. She can do RP. But I did my own audition like this because I like them, sort of the earth, tough. People who go out and fight. So I was like really tough in my audition. And I, I kicked the chair into the middle of the room. And I went, for those who can't beat C, that's the beat chair is going to be the log in this scene, right? That's my tree. Right. Are you ready? <laughs> I was like, I don't know that. Like, <laughs> and then I did my very best Shakespearean voice. And they went, wow. You know, because they like them rough. So that was my central school. And then Weber Douglas, where I chose to go in the end, were very classical orientated. So even my modern piece, I chose a very classical piece. I wore my full length practice skirt for all of my pieces. And and I was very polite and this and that. And they looked at my thing and they said, "Mm, hmm, you are very young. And I was still young because they like to take me 20, 19, 21 after university or whatever. And I was like, and they said, you know, gee, you've not really had much life experience. And I said, oh, please don't judge me by the number of birthdays I've had, but by the events that have occurred between them. (laughs) I have no idea where that came from, but. So they were like, oh, have you had an eventful life? I said so many things I just can't talk about really, you know. And and so they, they had this great sense that I had been through drama already in my life. Um, and so I just re- replayed them all and I got into every single drama school three months later. And then I had to try and, so I had to sign up under a different name. And then I had a, a scholarship, which I got from the local thing, which was, of course, was in my real name. I was like, well, how do I tie my scholarship? It was a bit complicated, but we sorted it in the end. And there was one audition guy who realized what I was doing. In, in the sense he didn't realize it was the same person from before, but he was on the, the panel, the board, for both Weber Douglas and Central. And I'm so short-sighted. It was only when I went to sit down and have the chat 
after I'd done some stuff and I'd done my pieces and they said, oh, do come and sit down. And now you're sitting either side of the table. And I could see he was on the table and I thought, oh, oh no, what if he recognizes me from last week's audition in, in um, Weber Douglas? Because I was sort of posh and classical there. And when I went to Weber Douglas, I, I saw him. I, I was never taught by him, but I saw him. He was in the the local pub and I went up to him and I said thank you for not blowing my cover and he went oh thank you it was the most interesting ha thing that happened in a very dull day <laughs> <laughs> I suppose they've got to listen to you know 500 people <laughs> doing the same speech and he said no I realized that you were the same person and I thought if she can do that and do this this is somebody we should have in our school so I said, he said, but I didn't say anything to them. I just gave you the vote, you know. <laughs>